Mini Matters, a miniature and painting podcast. Right, Roman. Good to see you. Thank you very much for coming. I mean, you were coming anyway. Thanks very much for agreeing to the interview. Uh, and it's Jamie Hutzper, I don't know why I do my surname, from Mini Matters. Obviously, I know my name. Um, so, are you here plugging anything, or are you here for the model painting competition? I'm actually just here for judging. I oh, got invited interesting. for judging. Um, Should have known that. In the World Model Expo, which is like a little yeah. pressure mm. on my shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> um, but also something I would love to have in my bio, you mm -hmm. can say. It's um, a really an honor to judge here. Mm. And um, I'm looking forward to it. It starts tomorrow. So the rest of the weekend is just relaxing and um, meeting people. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. I have a full cabinet full of um, in the judges area so where I... That's what uh, that is. I yeah. wonder why there was such like good stuff sort of in this. Yeah. And I this saw is, the little plaques laid out. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the judging cabinet. So they mm. are all judges presented with their work. And yeah, it will be a nice weekend, maybe for me, it will be a lot of drinks, meeting people. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Um, but I'm not drinking tonight because judging tomorrow Very has the resp responsibility yeah, to yeah. not do it with a hangover. Yeah. So been there, done that. Yeah. Been there, done that, but it's <laughs> in the past. Um, so, but it's, yeah, will be fun. Will be great, great times. And I've seen some pieces, the area of the competition is just crazy. Yeah, yeah. And there's so many entries and they're all it's, such high level. It's such a high level. It's so crazy. I have no idea. Maybe I have to drink tonight for judging. <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah, no, but yeah. it's it's really super super crazy. Um, uh, and I can I can just go there. I went went there for one hour and it was like completely. Mm -hmm. My brain was emptied already. Have you so. thought about how are they gonna? Well, how are you gonna tackle it? Or is there like a structure? Are they gonna? I mean, we get we get a briefing tomorrow. Right. So and they tomorrow there will be a briefing. We will be parted in groups like judging teams. With and any specific thoughts in mind or yeah. Yeah, I think okay. I think it will be of course I will not judge scale modeling because I've never yeah. painted a tank yeah, yeah it doesn't right. make sense that, okay so it's, it's so I, I might judge fantasy dioramas or diorama parts because I'm more the diorama guy so I think Very this good. will be um, kind of combined tomorrow when they make the judging teams yeah. so um, but it, make, it makes me think because I, I, I guess Patrick's in there as well though. yeah he's will be in the sculpting exactly, area so yeah. that okay, everybody where really he has his focus and, and then the team Ooh. so um, but it's still it will I still think it's they say it should take two to three hours. Only? Yeah, but that's a guess. I, so okay. I, I think it will be longer. So. You, you, you've obviously judged a lot before. What's the longest you've judged in, in, a, in, you know, in a competition sitting there? And seven hours. And did it feel like seven hours? No, like 24. <laughs> it's a lot worse. Yeah. Seven hours is a long time to it's keep that focus up. Absolutely. And, yeah. Absolutely. So it's really um, judging. I mean, it can go faster when, when the competition is smaller. And, yeah. But sometimes in the end, you have like, if you have such an amount of pieces, mm -hmm. you have like 30 to 40 pieces yeah. who can, can kind of be best of show or something. Yeah. And yeah. the discussion about this and uh, the focus you have to put in these, uh, even after a regular judging, is just like um, yeah. you're just tired. Yeah. But, yeah. And, focus and you're still, already, that's at the end as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. And this will be a big discussion. It can also happen that the judge, judging teams have to talk in between yeah, about right. this and, and something like this. So it's, it's interesting. Um, I love judging. Yeah. It's a, I, like, I like the responsibility about yeah. it. Yeah. I always like to, to bring in my personal yeah. knowledge to, to it. Also, yeah, about yeah. not about just how you to judge, because that's in the briefing part of the World Model Expo. Yeah. Um, oh, interesting. So they actually they do give you guidelines. And ways they do them. give us kind of guidelines. Yeah. So, but it's still it's still um, um, like also happening in the small groups because yeah, when you yeah. meet up as a group, you will always like okay, these are our guidelines. How we yeah. deal with them. What are, it's always yeah, like you yeah. speak with your partners, with your yeah. teammates. And actually, that, I suppose that's the whole point because if you've got the you've got a group consensus is the key, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So it's like, yeah. Okay. So um, it'll be interesting to see how this is being a world expo is judged compared to an SMC or a multi yeah. or. A, yeah. Any of those things. So. I mean, uh, there is still. I mean, at the World Model Expo, you can see that they are not. For example, we miss a beginners category. Yeah. There's a standard and master. Yeah, yeah. So beginners, it's just like go yeah, to go standard. to go to standard. Yeah. So this makes a difference to regular shows already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and also puts a lot of pressure into standard. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, so yeah. Standard is like at a level where you think whoa, and then master's just like oh, whoa. Yeah, okay. Like, <laughs> so it's yeah, um, yeah. yeah, it's it's look, amazing. Look, yeah, I, I like. I'm looking forward to. Uh, obviously, when I dropped the model off, I saw what was there, yeah. but I've, I've consciously well, it's not open yet, yeah. right? No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but I looked around and I was like, there's a lot of good stuff going. Absolutely, on right absolutely. No, it, it, the crazy thing is after these two years of COVID, two or three years yes. of COVID. Everybody had more time. Yeah, yeah. Um, everybody has ha 
yeah, enjoyed yeah. painting, was focused on it, yeah. was waiting for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like um, an explosion. It, yeah, it's, it's like a, the um, perfect storm, as it were. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you've got it, the fact that it's a World Expo as well. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. It, it couldn't be couldn't be better. Well, poised as it were. Absolutely. I've no. seen um, I've seen some things in there that I thought were just like they're too. Well, it's not you can't say they're too good, but they're too refined or they're too adventurous and in a, in a joyous, Absolutely. fantastic way. Unreal. Kind yeah, of yeah like, that's a better word. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have imagined this yeah, anywhere. Right. So yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's really cool. Were you in really any cool. way sad that you couldn't enter? I could have entered. Oh. So there's the rule okay. for judges. You can enter if you want to. Okay. Um, then you're not able to judge your own pieces. Yeah, um, okay. That's the rule, you yeah. can say. Um, but I always, I mean, I've judged really many competitions in the, yeah. in the meantime. And I, for myself, put up the rule, just a personal decision yeah. to not judge and be in the competition. Yeah. So it's just like, I don't want to. It makes sense. Doesn't put any pressure on me on the weekend. It's just like I can yeah. relax. It's a social I can, with the. I can focus on this. So it's. Um, and, and then so you do the judging and it's, well, three hours. Whatever, yeah, but three hours. <laughs> yeah. And then that's it, right? There's no yeah. other involvement. Yeah. You yeah. just enjoy the show. Absolutely. Absolutely. And there's a lot of friends that you obviously know. I mean, I, yesterday it was like, um, I was really confused about getting to such a big event again with yeah, yeah, COVID yeah, yeah. still yeah. there. It's not gone. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah. and, but then it was like, in the beginning, the travel there was like, no, I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm hashtag all people. Um, you never, you know, yeah, yeah. so. But but then arriving here, it's just like it started to begin. Like, hey, I mean, hey, good to see you again. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I mean, let's drink a beer, okay? Let's talk. How, how have you have you been? So it's just like, it. My heart was full of joy yeah, yeah, yeah. in the moment when I arrived here. Yeah. So it's when, um, when before you might have been apprehensive, and then it all goes away. Absolutely. Like this so. is the first. SMC or yeah, that yeah, I've been to yeah, yeah. and like obviously he's told me what it was like but you don't yeah. portray and I wasn't in no way really excited or I was yeah. just like a mix of like absolutely slightly yeah. but now I'm like I understand what it is yeah, yeah. and it's a lot better and bigger than I but I do think these interactions are what make it so Abs special absolutely like, absolutely it's yeah. a it's a big family meeting you can Basically, say yeah, yeah. Um, but not only from miniature fantasy yeah, panels it's yeah. historical scale modeling it's like um, everything comes together and melts yeah. together to something yeah, it's a yeah. diamond of the yeah. show. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. And, and, and yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Yeah, um, it's beautiful. It is. I've got five random questions. Please go ahead. They are not related in any capacity. There we go. Okay, the first one. The first one. What do you think of garden gnomes? Of garden. Garden gnomes. Do you know what they are? No. Give me a second. Okay. Um, I don't know if you'll have these in Germany. I'll be honest. Okay. okay. Um, right. I just got a gnome. G, O. G N O M E. It's because it's a silent. Okay, okay. Uh, there you go. Ah, yeah, okay. Gartenzwerk. Gartenzwerk. Garden dwarfs, kind of. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. So, yeah. But, but yeah, painted in. <clears throat> yeah, I know what you mean. It's um, What do I think of those? Yep. They kind of a connect, have a connection to miniature painting. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Um, so, somehow. <laughs> that is a good link. But. Yeah. but um, <laughs> I think uh, yeah. they, they scare the shit out of me sometimes. Yeah, right. It's just yeah. like oh no. Yeah. So he looks he looks he looks stares at me. So I I mean <laughs> the they, natural reaction. I've been to one house, it was in, in France and to been to one house in France that surprised me because it was like filled with seven hundred of these guys. Right, that's fucking a lot. So I will never go there again. It hunts me in my nightmares. <laughs> um yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Now this, this question doesn't make sense, but I wrote it on the plane. Do you paint to win or win to paint? I paint to paint. Concise and quick. Very good. Um, right, you've been given a zebra and you can't give it away or sell it. Uh, what are you going to do with it? Zebra. I'm, I make it my friend. Mm -hmm. So I make it my friend and then we, we counter the world. Yeah. yeah. On the horse, well, not horseback. You no, can ride a zebra. I'm absolutely. sure. Absolutely. It's like yeah. a donkey. I'm, I might horse. train out a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. And then I will just with a uh, tarsal yeah, on the zebra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, get topless. And, yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, maybe something like that. So maybe I will train for a poster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Life's goals have changed. But I have to train a lot. That's um, hashtag old people. Well, yeah. and it's harder when you're older. Absolutely. But the zebra would be a great motivation. It oh, would. Okay. I, I, and he would, like, he would, by having him and riding him, you would automatically train in a way. Yeah. Because. Yeah. yeah, okay. All right. Um, I will learn these off by heart, don't worry. Uh, how would you describe um, the color red to a blind person? Mm. I've been to a blind um, dinner once where you are in a dark room 
oh, and wow. blind people serve you dinner, dishes. Wow. So this was a crazy experience. Yeah. So where a blind person explained a lot of things to me in the dark. Wow. That was great experience. So yeah. the question hits me hard and deep. Yeah. Um, but how would I explain the color red? <clears throat> because red can mean different things. Red can be warmth and feeling yeah. comfortable. Yeah and feeling cozy mm -hmm. and red can also be heat danger aggressive yeah. so explaining uh, it's a multitude of it's 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 hard i would need um my german brain needs about half an hour to think this through of you did warn me also <laughs> before as well so you no, could it's, do uh, it in german but uh, yeah, no, no one no, would no. get it no it's 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 yeah. difficult so um i and think it, with pass. every color but I, yeah. I would pass this one because it's every color has yeah, deeper meanings and, yeah, so yeah. it's really really hard to to get that except i would i would maybe go with the if i go to explain it to a blind person who never heard of the color red yeah. i would mainly go with the positive aspects of the color yeah. to just give the person a positive vibe to a color and not yeah. the aggressive dangerous part yeah. so i would go for cozy and think about how you would sit in front of a fireplace where it's yeah. warm where you drink yeah. a tea and you feel comfortable yeah. outside it's snowing yeah, this yeah. is red yeah that's lovely so, very good indeed. Uh, and now five uses for a stapler other than stapling. And you don't have to do five, but if you've got five, well done. A stapler, you mean is the thing that goes? Yeah, well, it's, yeah. it's, it's normally it's a bit, it's like a handheld one. And okay. you just, you, like, you've got, you know, a sheet of A4 paper and you just at the top so you can okay. have them all bound. I, okay, got that, got that. Yeah. Um, using super glue and a stapler, um, stopping you from bleeding. <laughs> okay. Um, that would be because I do this not with a staple but with super glue in the studio. Um, oh, that's hard. Um, <laughs> a battle with friends. Yes. Like, yeah, that's really good. That yeah. is really that's that's brilliant. But wear protection glasses, please. Of course. <laughs> Safety um, first. Safety first. <laughs> um, then I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a good one. Hmm. I've still got one that I've not said out loud. Tricks on, on with tricks with toilet paper on the toilet for a friend who goes to the toilet that's after harsh, you. but very clever. But that's that would be fun. Yeah, that um, would be, yeah. Um, <laughs> God. Just fix the toilet paper like do, 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 yeah. do, 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 and, and I don't know. Um, yeah, it's, I think I go with three. Um, three is good yeah. enough for me, man. Old, have better. take old people are not so creative anymore. <laughs> well, Albert got like two. Yeah. I now got four. Yeah, okay. And you're the okay. third, so you okay. got three. That's I uh, I got good two. Medium. medium. Yeah. That is it. Thank My you pleasure. so much. My so, pleasure, Jamie. So, uh, it was a brilliant interview. Yeah. I mean, you've just experienced it. Uh, and that's it. Enjoy the show. I will. You too. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank I you. I will. You can...